So I'm currently on summer break, guys, and you know what that means? That I have time to do whatever I want. Whatever I want. Now, reality can be whatever I want. If I want to sit around, I can sit around, but I'm not doing that. I've just graduated, and the only time I'm going to have an academic responsibility or some sort of academic commitment again is on July 31st, which is when I start college. So, in light of this recent free time that I've had, I decided to start learning coding. But coding has revolutionized my life. Like, you guys don't even understand. Like, I'm serious. You don't understand. Like, I mean, well, maybe if you know coding, like if you're watching this and you've coded before and you understand what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, right? But else... You don't know what I'm saying. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But back to the main focus. So coding, just imagine it's like, it's basically like a toolbox where you have all the tools you need to make something that's going to make your life easier. But such few people take advantage of those tools. And I'm going to be showing you guys today what I was able to make that is just going to make my life so much easier. So let's get right to it. So a little backstory on this is it all started when I kept trying to use certain YouTube clips from other people's videos on my YouTube videos, which is completely reasonable. And what did I resort to? Going on these sketchy third party websites to try to just download that little clip that I wanted from an entire 10 minute video to download something so simple. But you know, YouTube doesn't let you do it because you need to pay for YouTube premium to do it through them. So. I would go on these sketchy third party websites where you know you go in and type in oh free YouTube video downloader and then you just click on the first link that shows up and you know those ads start popping up and all that and you just know you're gonna get scammed or you're probably gonna download some some virus or something. And then guess what? When you actually click on download, surprise you get redirected to Bet360 and you can't even download the actual video. And then the only thing you feel like doing next is this. My oh my, what a tricky situation we have found ourselves in. Thank goodness Dylan has the solution to all our problems. So now guys, let's watch myself explain my code so we can all understand this amazing solution Dylan has come up with. So to pop off this explanation guys, we are gonna get some random YouTube video. No, I'm just kidding, it's not random. I specifically chose this one guys. Uh, okay, so. Uh, we first here you can see import YouTube downloader. This is just I just the main code isn't actually here But let's press run so we can start the code So it prompts you paste link here and what do you do? You do exactly as it says you paste the link right there Would you like to extract a specific clip? Let's say no We want the whole video to be downloaded and then it says give me a second downloading video So you wait because it's downloading the video, you know, so it's not immediate, but while you wait for the YouTube video to be downloaded, guys, why should you do this yourself when you can just automate a computer to do it for you? And there you go, all done, download successful. And where's the file? Right here on YouTube downloads because this is where I prompted the code to put my file. And then it says right there, building a laser baby. This is gonna be a weird video. And Let me give you some as context. you can see, this is the entire video, exactly what we wanted pasted into the exact folder that we wanted. Because why should we do it ourselves, you know? Just make your life easier. So let's throw it in the trash now and try that again. But this time, we're going to take another specific subclip because we don't want the entire video. So you paste the link right there, and now you write yes. So now, guys, the code will prompt you to input the specific start and end times below. So let's say we want a clip from, I don't know, 5 minutes and 30 seconds all the way to 6 minutes and 0 seconds. So it'll do exactly as it did previously as I showed you. And then what happens now is magic, guys. After the video is downloaded, the code will go ahead and clip it into the specific size that you want. Because, you know, it's too much of a hassle to put it into iMovie and clip it into the size that you want. Why, why do that, guys? Just have the computer do it for you, guys. It's so much easier. And as you can see right here, see the little red bar loading? That's my movie pie clipping the video into the exact size that I want. And then once it reaches that 100%, Boom, there you go, all done. You can go over, the video is gonna be into the exact file that you want, YouTube downloads, and then right here, the exact 30 second clip that we want. Because, you know, 
why do it yourself when you can just automate it, guys? Come on. Like, you know, you got to work smart, not hard. But anyways, that's how it basically works. And obviously, my main code isn't in here in this main file. I'm importing from another file of mine. This is where the main code is at. Uh, but I'll explain that later on in this video. But yeah, that's how the code works. And you can do it for like pretty much any YouTube video as long as it doesn't have age restrictions. And guys, keep in mind, I wrote this code after about two weeks of learning Python, watching a couple YouTube tutorials, and just doing some research here and there, and it's been super useful. Like, I literally used it to make even this YouTube video you're watching right now. I used it to extract, for example, this clip here that you saw in the beginning of the video, or maybe this clip here too, or this soundtrack and this soundtrack that you saw in the beginning too. So you see how useful it's been? All I need to do is just put in some information about the video and then where I want it and how I want it and it'll just do everything for me. Now guys, I'm gonna give you a more technical explanation of my code and show you exactly how it works and how I wrote it, but it's gonna be very brief. I'm just gonna glaze over the details. I'm probably going to make another video in the future showing you in depth how my code works, which if you would like to see that, I can paste it in the comments down below or just comment asking me to make another video explaining exactly how my code works. So let's get to it and keep in mind this next part, guys, is sped up by about 50% just because I felt like it was taking too long. So yeah, enjoy. Now onto the coding part, but this is how it basically works, guys, okay? So here we have import YouTube downloader. This is basically importing a module. I'm importing a certain function or all functions from my other file called YouTube downloader. So that's all I'm doing here. When I type YouTube downloader dot download, I'm just importing the function from this file. I'm importing this exact function. I'm basically calling upon it. Now here at the top, you might notice we have uh, some other some other modules which I'm importing from PyTube import YouTube from my from MoviePy.editor import all. Uh, that's what this asterisk basically means. I won't get too much into the details. And then I have import OS. These are just some modules which have some pre-built in functions for me to use. So now to the important part. Here I just define download, which is I'm defining a function called download, and then we start. Uh, it might look complicated to the untrained eye, but it's actually not that complicated to have a bas basic understanding of Python. You will definitely be able to understand how this works. And I basically did this after two weeks of learning a bit of Python and just doing some research on the internet, as I explained previously. So what we do here is we initially take some input. So I input the link, which is that exact command that you saw, paste link here. And then I ask, would you like to extract a, a specific clip? And if you type yes, it then takes the, the input that you put into yes or no and says if yes is in the yes or no uh, input that you wrote, then it'll ask for these variables. Else, I just attribute a value of zero to the variables because they're not going to be used. Then we go down here, we have the basic premise of downloading the video. So we see here, video equals YouTube, and then we have link. Uh, here, it just inputs the string, so it takes the link that you pasted, converts it to a string, and puts it in here, and then uh, YouTube goes and finds that video and attributes, it, uh, attributes its value to this variable here called video. These little command terms here, use off equals true, allow off cache equals true. That's basically all it's doing is it's saying that um, YouTube or this exact code can use my my Google account for, for accessing the link. So it can access the link through my Google account, which for some reason, uh, I'm not sure it, it definitely works, but I haven't been able to get past age restrictions, even though I'm 18 and my Google account clearly says it's 18. But that's another problem. Uh, but as you can see here, then uh, we just really go through the code, download video.streams. This is basically just downloading the entire video and it names it vidmp4. So what it basically does here is, is it says, if yes is in yes or no dot lower. So it's just basically scanning if the string yes is present in your input, uh, basically seeing if you said yes. Uh, and if you respond yes, then it runs through this code here, which is basically what it's doing is it's clipping the video. So it takes video file clip. Uh, it, takes, it takes the video, uh, the entire video, and clips it into the specific section that you want, which is what basically allows you to input the time frames that you want, and then it'll cut the video to that exact size. Then we go down here to moving the file, and it basically all it does is it just moves the file from my Python folder, which for some reason, when I edit or clip something with movie with my movie pie, uh, it it's automatically sends it into here, right here into my PyCharm files, and then I just take that file and move it into the the YouTube slash YouTube downloads file. That's what it's basically doing, and then all done. And um, so if, if you had previously stated, no, you would not like to extract a specific subclip from your video, it'll just run, uh, it'll just move the file straight into the downloads, the YouTube downloads file. And then here we have os.replace source destination. And it basically takes the, the file, moves it into the exact folder that I wanted, which was YouTube downloads. And then it deletes the excess file, as you can see here, os.remove. So 
what OS Start Remove does is it removes the excess file because when I clip the original video that I downloaded with my movie Pi, it creates another another secondary clip. So then you still have the original video, and then I just use this OS Remove to delete the original video, which sends it automatically into the trash because you don't want excess and a bunch of video files building up on your computer. And this basic part here where it says try accept is I'm just putting it in putting my entire code into try and accept commands because then what it does is if an error occurs instead of canceling your stopping the whole code it'll just say an error occurred dot 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 as you can see down below here so guys I hope you enjoyed the explanation that's going to be it for today and if you made it this far I just wanted to say thank you for sticking with me and cheers guys Damn, I just burnt my tongue trying to take that shot. But guys, that's it for today. See you later.